hi! Thanks for watching my video, and welcome back to another episode of the... what did we call it? The Sister Wives Challenge. This is part two of this Let's Play, so if you haven't seen part one, you might want to go and watch that. Caleb has work in a few hours. I feel like we made some really good progress in the last episode. We currently have two children, third one on the way. Caleb is at career level four. And he should come home today with a promotion. And he's also handiness level 6. Almost level 7. So he's making pretty good money at work and through his side job of building sculptures. And then Kylie, who is currently almost in her third trimester. She's been building on her skills as well. So she and the kids are going to be set for when Caleb moves out. She's gardening level 5. She's got her plants here that she harvests from every day that give her a few pennies. And she's also almost at writing level 8, and she's got loads of books on the go. She's got like 10 books published that she's getting daily royalties from. So I feel like we're probably only going to be in this household for another day or two before... Oh, although the computer has just broken. Thankfully though, Caleb is quite high in his handiness, so he could probably fix it. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe if I can save up 10 grand, which isn't too far away, we're just shy of 8,000. 10 grand is probably a good amount for Caleb to take with him. There's like a plot of land next door with another uh, sim on it. Basically, wife number two. So once we hit 10k, I think we could probably just go and move next door. Oh, Caleb's developed a fear of death. Yeah, we're going to move to this plot of land here. There's already a female sim living on it. And then we'll start the process again. We'll build a new home. Caleb, maybe you should have a quick breakfast. But like I said in the last episode, once we move out of this house, it's not just going to be, you know, bye-bye family, that's it. We're going to keep stopping by to see the kids and keep getting Kylie pregnant. She's going to live here alone with her husband visiting her every few days. So ideally, with every wife in this situation, we kind of want to end up giving them like seven kids. So how are the kids doing? Grace is tired and she's hungry, but she's currently sleeping, so she can wait. Little baby Faith seems okay. So maybe while the kids are okay, we can go and write a screenplay. I'm trying to get Kylie in the best position to be completely independent once we move out with Caleb. Uh-oh, baby's crying. Right, Caleb, come and give Faith a hand before you go to work. All right, Caleb, have a good day at work. Try and get a promotion. Hey, we got our royalties. Yeah, I'm thinking perhaps, perhaps it will be tonight that we move out. Especially if Caleb gets a promotion today. All right, both the kids are sleeping. Let's make the most of this opportunity. Try and finish that book. We probably have some stuff we can sell now as well, yeah. Oh, I think we've just got our bills as well. So that's going to knock us back about a grand. Now you can just have a quick meal, Kylie. Or you can instead make chips and salsa, I guess. Oh, baby's crying again. Just let it cry for a minute, she'll be fine. Enjoy your chips and salsa, Kylie. She's still only in her second trimester. She just seems really big to not be in her third trimester, doesn't she? Unless she's got like twins or something. We probably won't be here for the birth, so let's just find out what she's having. Two girls, she does have twins, that's why she's so big. Oh, okay, that explains it. So Caleb and Kylie are gonna end up with four daughters and then whatever children they make after Caleb moves out. Oh, Caleb's very tired. All right, go get some sleep. You know what, Kylie, I might just send you to bed as well. And then if we get you all sleeping at the same time, then you won't be too tired to deal with the kids. Oh, Faith just aged up. Oh, shit. Well, hello there, Faith. Why don't you take yourself to bed? All right, I'm thinking, let's craft. Let's just craft some shit. See if we can't make enough to move out. Okay, we should have a few things in our inventory now. A mirror, wall hanging, and a shelf. Let's see how much we make from that. Not quite 10 grand. Uh-oh, there's a diaper here that needs changing, Kylie. Also, look at these banana trees. Oh no, some bugs came along and killed all of my plants. Oh, that is so annoying. 
Well, Caleb's got work in an hour. He's just finishing up a little woodworking project. So probably we'll wait till he gets back from work because he'll have like a little bit extra money. And he might get a promotion today. Oh, just doing a cheeky bit of flashcards. I feel like we have a favoritism problem. Because both parents go straight to Grace. But poor Faith here, I think she's got like, she's got like middle child problems. Cause she's not really getting much attention and she's pretty sad. Oh, we got our royalty payment by the way. That's why we've got over 11 grand in the bank. So needless to say, as soon as Caleb gets home, he is moving out. And then I guess we'll wait for the phone call from Kylie to say that the twins have been born. I'll let you name them this time, Kylie. Oh shit, Grace just aged up into a child. Man, Caleb, you're gonna have to start, um... You're gonna have to start working hard, because you can't have too much of an age gap between your kids. We now have an actual child. Caleb only has two days before he becomes an adult. I wonder if I could get him some, like, elixir potion. Right, well, Grace, you need to set an example for the other kids and do your homework. We want all of our kids to be grade A students. Ah, oh, or maybe what I'll do... Actually, I'm gonna take that option away from you, Kylie. Oh, wait, we got a promotion. Maybe what I'll do instead is I'll put Kylie in labor, have those two, those twins, and then maybe we'll get Kylie pregnant just before we leave, and then that way we'll have, like, four babies with a fifth one on the way. Yeah, that's a better idea, I think. Let's just pop her in labor. And then that way we'll have, like, a whole three days before we have to visit this house again. All right, baby one of two on its way. We will call this one Jade and this one Amy. Ah, Kylie and Caleb had twins. Right, let's try for another. Oh dear, Grace is angry because she didn't want another sibling. You might have to get used to that, Grace. Oh, are you guys gonna go do some business? Yeah, I think so. Okay, great, great. Yeah, if I were you, I'd get used to trying to parent Grace. That's kind of going to be your life now. You're going to be raising your siblings. Right, let's take a pregnancy test. Hopefully we get the good news. Yes, Kylie's pregnant. Right, before I leave you, Kylie, let me find out what you're having. Another girl. Five girls. Okay, okay, Caleb, this has been fun. Uh, probably time we make a move now. Bye, family. I'll see you in three days when baby number five is born. Okay, I'll take 11,500 and then they will be fine. They got daily royalties coming in. They got gardening going on. They'll be fine. Hopefully I can build a fairly decent starter home with 11 grand. I don't really build starter homes very often, but we'll see. We'll see how much I can make this money stretch. And I'll introduce you to our new wife who we don't quite have a romantic relationship with. Oh, this is her. Yeah, we're not quite on a romantic level yet, but we'll get there. So this here is Crystal. She's going to be wife number two, and she lives only next door to Caleb's first family. So I am going to, I'm going to go off camera because I need to figure out how I'm going to make this look, and we'll see if we can rustle up a starter home. Be back in a sec. Okay, this is house number two. It's a bit more bare, and it's got a lot more basic stuff than the other house but we did only have 10k to start with and I do have a woodworking table here for Caleb so he can try and bring in some more money and Crystal has an easel because her side hustle is going to be being all arty and selling some paintings so let's take some selfies try and build up a relationship here for wife number two ideally we want to get Crystal knocked up as soon as possible Oh, look at that. That's lovely, that is. Put that one above the mantelpiece, I say. All right, now I'm thinking, let's crack some jokes. We'll try and make her playful, and then we'll take a quick swerve into flirty. Is she going to take the rose? Is she? Yes, she is. That's right. It's gone from funny conversation, casual discussion, to suggestive conversation. Oh, Crystal, what are you saying? I think we're going in for our first kiss. Man, Caleb, what a fast mover. Right, we'll see if we can ask Crystal to be our girlfriend. Unfortunately, the game does not allow for multiple marriages. So we're just going to have to pretend that them being a girlfriend is like the same as a spiritual marriage. Let's just say that, shall we? I think she just became his girlfriend. 
Yes, perfect. Right, Crystal, let's sort out your fertility. We will pop it at 100%. And then we'll go try for a baby. Hopefully, before the baby gets here, we'll be able to buy some toys and maybe some more beds for the kids. All right, Crystal, get on that toilet, girl. Is you knocked up? Is you knocked up? I want to see that shocked face, Crystal. I want to see the surprise. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we were hoping for. Congratulations, Crystal. She's pregnant. Okay, sweet success. Right. In that case, Crystal, let's get you doing a painting. Caleb, how are you doing for a promotion? You need to work on your charisma. So go and give yourself a little speech. Yeah, the next promotion will make him senior manager. There's only one problem, is that I can't afford a computer, so he can't fill any reports. But maybe if we work through the night, we can afford to get one and then you can do your little daily task. Oh, you can sell that painting. It wasn't really worth a lot, but that's fine. You're not exactly the best painter in the world, so we'll, we'll just get there slowly. Oh, you finished another figure painting. Go and sell it, girl. All right, Caleb, you've got the skill you need. Go and craft some furniture. Let's go for maybe five wall hangings. And then you can get painting again. You only have three days before this baby comes. And Caleb, I think you only have two days before you age up. One day before you're an adult. I want to try and get, like, I do have a ballpark figure in mind. Like, by the time Caleb is an elder, I would like for him to have four wives and at least, like, 20 children. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, I know you're hungry, Crystal, but I want to milk your painting while you're inspired. We might start making some serious money if you keep painting while inspired. Do another figure painting. I've always found painting to be the most lucrative, like, crafting skill. Right, Caleb, how did you get on at the woodworking station? Did you actually make anything? Three wall hangings. Okay, that's good. Oh, sweet. They were worth 500 each. Oh, okay. Hmm, maybe we can afford a computer now. Just get the cheapest computer possible. Okay, brilliant. So now you can at least fill out your paperwork. I think I'm going to go with the same strategy. I want to try and save about 10 grand to move out and then start a new life with another wife. However, um, I'm not actually going to start counting how much we have in the kitty until we finish furnishing this place. I don't mind them not having a TV, but they need to get some stuff for the kids. And once they've done that, then we can start actually saving for wife number three. I expect in the time Caleb lives here, he'll probably get maybe two promotions, I want to say. I'm hoping we can move at a slightly faster pace this time around, because Caleb's bringing in more money at work, he's making more money off of his woodworking, and Crystal is getting on pretty well with the painting. And she's also a notable newcomer. Wow, Caleb, you've got two wives and they're both more famous than you. Caleb, you need to fill your fucking reports. Fill out your reports until you have work. Let's see how far you can get into this task. I heard you became friends with Crystal Brown. She's pretty cool. I wonder if that's passive aggressive. All right, Caleb, have a great day at work. You've got a full tie now. It's not even loose. And Crystal, I think we've got a busy day ahead of us. I want to try and milk every minute I have with Crystal before she has this baby. That's when they're most productive. Oh, and we've got bills to pay. Who the fuck are you? What do you think you're doing? Fuck off. Waltz into my home like this. Yeah, we can't afford our bills right now. I would like to make today the day we pay the bills and buy all of the kids' shit. And then from tomorrow onwards, all of the money we make goes towards house number three. We've got to really pick up the pace here if we want to have 20 kids and four wives before Caleb becomes an elder. No thank you, Welcome Wagon, not today. It's funny because wife number one has probably turned up. Yep, yeah, there's wife number one, pregnant. Oh dear, the manager's been embezzling. You've got to report it. Honesty's always the best policy. Oh, this painting's going to be so much better already, I can tell. She's actually doing some shading this time. Yeah, that one was worth 340. I wonder what she's having. I wonder if she's having a girl or a boy. What have we got? A boy! Huh. Wouldn't it be strange if Caleb ended up with seven girls by wife number one and seven boys by wife number two? Entrepreneur level two? Nice. 
Oh, Caleb's phone is ringing. Caleb, I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. I don't think so. You've got five kids on your hands and you're basically a single mum. I don't think you should do it. Dozy cow. All right, we have made a good chunk of change today with Crystal alone. We can afford to pay our bills. And once we've done that, I think we can probably afford to buy some toys for the kiddos. So maybe, let's just see. Let's see what we can do here. We're not blessed with as much space as we were in the first house. So maybe we'll just get two toddler beds with a view to maybe... I don't know, maybe extend the house a little bit or even just extend this room a little bit further down the line. Oh, Caleb's home. And it looks like you're probably going to get a promotion tomorrow, Caleb. So why don't you just do your reports, get that done. And then the rest of the evening we can spend building your needs and maybe doing a cheeky bit of woodwork. I disabled child support for this Let's Play. I kind of figured, you know, it's not like we're moving out and leaving the mothers with nothing. You know, they're building skills. They have a means of making good money to support the kids, you know. Oh, shit. Prego's popped round. Just pretend we're not home. She's been standing outside that door for like 25 minutes. Take the hint, Kylie. Okay, she took the hint. Good, good. Okay, Caleb, have you finished filling out your reports? Yes, okay. Well then grab yourself something to eat and then we'll go and do some woodworking. Just have like a sandwich or something. Yeah, other than hunger, you're doing pretty good. So maybe have something to eat, take a quick dump and then we will craft maybe four wall hangings if they're worth 500 each. That means we'll make two grand from that. Oh yeah, we're going to be getting house number three in no time at all, I think. And then Crystal, when you sell your painting, you can have yourself maybe a nice little corn dog. Just to say well done for being such a trooper today. Oh, handiness level eight. Sweet. How are your needs doing, Crystal? You still good? Maybe rustle up a couple figure paintings then if you're so happy. I'll break you. Give me time. Caleb, I can see you're getting a bit tired. Maybe you could go to bed after the, after your last little wall hanging. All right, let's just see how much we've made from these wall hangings. All right, sweet, two grand. That's what I was hoping for. Brilliant. And we're not going to have any bills for a week. Crystal, you may as well get some shut eye too. All right, it's a new day. Caleb has work pretty soon. And I'm starting to think that I might just change tactic. So I was going to stay here for a few days, maybe a few promotions, have a few babies with Crystal. However, as Caleb's skill in woodworking is going up... Oh, okay, Caleb, have a great day at work. I'm starting to think that we're going to reach 10 grand a lot quicker than I thought we would. And there's a good chance that we might be at 10 grand before we have our second baby. Because she already is only in her second trimester. So I'm now kind of thinking what I might do is just stay here until we get to like 10, 11 grand, move into a new home and take a third wife. And then instead of moving from one house to the next house to the next house, I might just go and set up a third house with a third wife. And then after the third wife is pregnant, move back in with Crystal so we can extend the bedroom, have a few more kiddies, and kind of keep moving houses on like a rotational basis. Because I'm kind of thinking if I do it that way, then I'm still making money, and we're still helping to build up some of these houses. The only advantage of doing it that way is that in the time that I'll be doing that, I'll also be constantly having more than one wife pregnant at the same time. I think that's probably the best strategy to have as many children as possible before Caleb becomes an elder. Also, Crystal, you're in a good mood. Do a figure painting. This isn't just time at your leisure. Work, bitch. I think Caleb might come home with a promotion today, which would be good. That would put him as a senior manager. Oh no, Crystal's got the same quirk as Kylie in Motion Bomb. Well, at least you made a pretty painting. So, you know, good for you. So maybe we'll stick around until this baby's born. We'll stick around for long enough to get her pregnant a second time. And then probably we'll move out. Because I think we're going to hit 10k quite quickly. Oh, who's that on the phone? 
She wants to know if she should get to know Harold Rayston. No, I don't think so. No. Don't start getting jelly. You knew the deal when we got into this. Yes. Promoted to senior manager. And now we're taking home almost a thousand simoleons a day. Oh, good for you, Caleb. Go and take a shit. A celebratory shit. And then maybe we will do four wall hangings again. And then you can just enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, wait. We need to build level two in logic. Hmm. And it looks like for our next promotion, we'll be able to choose one of the um, paths. I think Angel Investor is meant to be the best paying. So I'll probably choose that path for him. But you know what? On that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I think we've made some pretty good progress. We've had, what, two babies and then another two on the way. I feel like we're very slowly seeing more and more action. So I imagine episode three will probably have even more action on the go. Maybe we'll have like five more kids in the third episode. Who knows? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.